This section will focus on getting familiar with the analytical or analytics dashboard design interface within Dundas Dashboard. This video aims to give an overview of how best to create such dashboards. To create a new dashboard, we need to go to the Analytical Dashboards context menu. Select the New Analytical Dashboard menu item to create a new analytical dashboard. Type in a meaningful name. We're going to call this one 4.2.1, so we can reference this dashboard in this tutorial and future tutorials. Now let's go over the design interface. On the left side is our toolbox. This is where you'll find analytics assets that have been populated into your installation instance. OLAP cubes, supporting analytical controls, and general style and structure elements. You may revert to the Design Explorer at any time during your design process by clicking on the collapsible menu item of the same name. In the middle of your screen, you will find the dashboard canvas. This is the surface onto which you would drag and drop data and styling items from the toolbox. On the right side, you will see the Properties pane. Right now, it's empty because we don't have anything selected. Let's click on the dashboard canvas to reveal its properties. As you can see, there is now a grid full of properties. These are the properties of the dashboard canvas itself. Each dashboard element has a lot of properties. We will cover some of the more commonly used properties throughout this series. The best way to become familiar with the balance of the properties is to examine them for yourself or consult documentation on the Dundas support site. There are two tiers of properties, normal properties and advanced properties. Advanced properties can be shown and hidden by toggling the advanced properties button. We're going to talk about the canvas in a little more detail now. First off, you can set the width and height of the canvas by doing the following. The canvas has a Cartesian coordinate system using pixels as the units. The point of origin, or 0, 0, is located at the top left-hand corner of the canvas. Along the left side is the y-axis, and as you move down the axis, the number of pixels increases from top to bottom. Along the top of the dashboard canvas is the x-axis, and the number of pixels increases from left to right. Let's place a label onto the canvas so we can talk about positioning. Notice how the Properties pane updates to show the properties of the label. We're interested in the top and left properties. Set the top value to 20 and the left value to 0. Notice how the label is now flush against the left side and 20 pixels offset from the top of the canvas. Note that setting the location of the label applies to the top left hand corner of the label. Let's set the left value to 50 now. Notice how the label has moved and is now 50 pixels offset. Now let's look at resizing this dashboard element. You can do so by doing the following. A more precise way to resize it is to use the height and width properties in the dashboard element. Again, the units are pixels. Let's move on to the toolbar now. Click on the label if it hasn't already been selected. To copy it, we click on the Copy button in the toolbar. Now click Paste. This will create a copy of the label on the dashboard. To remove a dashboard element, click on it and press the Delete key on your keyboard. To preview your dashboard, you would click the Preview button. If you feel you would like to save your work but that the dashboard isn't ready for production, simply click Save. If you feel your dashboard is ready for production, click on Check In. This dashboard will now be visible to other users who have adequate viewing privileges. Now that you have a better understanding of the dashboard designer interface, you're ready to start creating your own analytical dashboards. This concludes this section.